So welcome back. Movement 12 of 13. So we're now coming into a cross-handed lift. We wind up into that cross-handed lift using our abdomens. So at the end of our sparrow's tail sequence, we had a rising push. Turning the waist against the right leg. As you pull to the heart, the weight comes onto your left leg. Right big toe turns to the front, into our narrow horse stance, and we push away. Weight comes on to our left leg, right big toe step back, equal from the left into shoulder stance, chopping out, lifting up into cross hand. double handed push. Turn the waist, pull to the heart. Turn to the toes, push from the heart. Step away from that push, chopping, lifting up into cross hands. So arms only then. From rising push. The waist turns to the right and we pull to the heart. Back to the middle, Thumbs down, push from the heart. Little fingers chop out in the widest circles you're comfortable with and you lift into cross hands right in the lead. Rising push. Turn the waist to the right, pull to the heart. Release the middle, push from the heart. Chop with the little fingers, lift, cross hands. And the legs there. So from bow stance, we come to reverse bow. Right toe turns into narrow horse stance. Equal weight. Weight shifts back onto the left leg. We step away, right big toe first. And then even with the left into shoulder stance for our cross-handed lift. Weight from right to left, turn with the toes, equal weight. Weight from left, step back, equal from the left, shoulder stance. Putting the two together. Turn the waist to the right, pull to the heart. Turn with the right big toe, push from the heart. Step away from that push, right big toe first, chopping, lifting up, cross hands. Turn the waist, pull to the heart. Turn with the toes, push from the heart. Step away from that push, right foot first, chopping, lifting, cross hands. 13-4, movement number 12. 